I had a lot of people asking to do a time lapse of me getting the shack set up. So I'm gonna do that. You're gonna see me go through the whole process. It takes quite a while with all the gear that I got out here. Let's go ahead and get set up. All right, I had two broken clips. I know Black Hole Outdoors will just ship me a couple extra. It's the first time that happened. Didn't affect anything for today. The one I just have sitting on the floor up front, and then the other one, it was just broken a little bit. It's the middle pole up there, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Shack set up now. I've got all the bracing up. I'm gonna try to clean the floor the shovel again real quick here it's 345 right now so i got an hour and a half before sunset by sunset hopefully i can get some lines down and be in for that night bite all right floor is clean now i'm going to put the flaps down around the outside Alright, so I'm all done backfilling and banking around the shack. I had to do a lot around the wheels because there's flaps that go all the way up to here and over. In the wind, I've been out here and the wind gets behind it. So you gotta bank it in all the way around that wheel on the outside, uh, which it's a lot of backfilling, but it does the trick if you can get that snow there and then pack it in so it doesn't just blow away. But as you can tell, we're in really good shape here. We're gonna start bringing things in. We're gonna get it set up about an hour and 10 minutes before sunset. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna put these straps on. So when I put this in here, I push it as far up against those poles as possible, and that as far up this way as possible, obviously to have the most space. But the other benefit of doing it this way is that when if the wind were to come from one of these sides, the bed frame holds this from not being able to come in, and it helps support that way as well, especially once I get weight down there and up here. This thing stays in place really good and it helps support the overall structure of this from side to side motion. starting to get cold out I've got I think everything in here I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna get the lights plugged in and we're gonna get uh, some heat going some final organizing done then we'll be ready to go sunset is in 10 minutes probably gonna be a little bit after that I want to get fully set up before I drop any lines down so time's o'clock All right, gotta get the heat going.
pretty much everything in here and set up. Heater one is going. Oh, I just gotta get my air mattress out. A little bit of organizing. I'm about ready to grab some rods out, get some lines down while I just kind of putts in here and then probably make some dinner. That's the way that we do the setup. I'm very fortunate that uh, I came during the daylight. It's a lot easier to set up during the daylight, number one. And number two, it wasn't super cold out. Like it was actually pretty nice. I could just wear a hoodie kind of go around and go about my business. It was uh, five degrees out today, which was actually really nice. Obviously this isn't just a day trip. This is a multi-day outing. So I brought a lot of gear. I gotta let everything thaw out in here. This fabric uh, gets pretty frozen just from water and things, from snow and rain and whatnot, because it is stored outside. I'm sure if I stored it inside of like a heated garage, um, it wouldn't be like this, but let the heaters run for several hours. It kind of loosens up a little bit. Check out this other video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.